Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everybody. It is Sunday, June 16th, and you know what that means. It is time for the High Risk Wrestling Recap. I am your host, Jeremy Pierce. We are coming off the backs of Against All Odds and Clash of the Castle. Check out the socials, Charismatic Creations on Facebook and YouTube, Charismatic underscore Creations 52 on Instagram, and of course, the 215 on Twitter. Let's get into the news. It looks like we're getting another Bloodline member. Strong, strong, strong possibility. Um, Hikaleo has finished up with New Japan Pro Wrestling And well obviously there's a chance he'll probably be going to the WWE And remember they also have Jacob Fatu under contract Hikaleo is the son of Haku, of Haku and the younger brother of Tama Tonga This bloodline is looking quite, quite Good update on Natalia's contract status. They are uh, hardly we are in the middle of negotiations. Nothing has been signed, um, but she will receive a lot of interest from outside companies. She is a legend in this business. Um, I don't think she's going to resign. I actually think she's going to go to TNA because um, I, I I do believe that the, their women's roster could use some more people. Just just slightly uh eo sky will be wrestling in the marigold summer destiny event she will be taking on utami haya shishida in a dream match do not miss this will be going down i believe july 13th at the ryu goku sumo hall this is going to be good this is going to be if you don't remember if you don't know marigold was created by Rossi agawa he used to run the stardom and he was pretty much pushed out because he wasn't doing he was pushed out for a, a, a variety of reasons, so he started his own promotion and took some talent with him. Janelle Grant's uh, case against Vincent, Vince McMahon has been put on pause by the judge. And essentially what's going on is they're looking at new information. Um, some things have been dismissed. Uh, people will have to appear in court. This is just this is normal, but it's big this kind of helps vince but janelle grant will not be letting this go her motion to strike a portion of McMahon's earlier following was denied as moot and defendants have uh, argued for private arbitration referencing the line of the nda that was signed by Grant McMahon in july 20 i'm sorry january 2022 um we'll see what happens here i do not think this is over not in the slightest uh a recently departed the recently departed tna head of creative has joined aew rd evans who's running tna creative for a, a minute has joined aew which is good um just take a little bit of things out of tony khan's hands if aew could just go and sign scott d more put him in charge of ring of honor that would be great but this definitely helps aew in the long run just you don't want to have too many cooks in the kitchen but this is this is this is a good good move on their part tony khan has alleged that the wwe has been uh doing some shady business tactics some shady business practices so essentially um the fast national stuff come out usually for like collision or dynamite and if you don't know about fast national those are just people that just watch the show that night and not the overall viewership which takes uh, a couple of days to come out and the fast nationals are always lower and that's not good it's just to show that other people aren't watching it so if you think that the WWE doesn't have any competition this is exactly what they're doing right now natalia markova has signed a new deal with the nwa she says nw is home and billy corgan is a great great boss she was definitely going to receive some offers um when her contract was up, but she has decided to stay with the NWA. Sportsnet will be losing the WWE as since you know they're moving to Netflix. Raw is moving over to Netflix, so Sportsnet will not be showing um, Raw anymore. Rogers in Canada has secured the rights to Warner Brothers Discovery, which helps AEW. So this is going to be a, a, a tight situation. Also, TSN airs um, Dynamite Weekly, and they're going to be losing that. So. We'll see the 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 wheels are turning for all of these 
companies and it looks like Chad Gable has signed a new contract remember his contract was coming up he just wrestled at Clash of the Castle and the way that ended it does not look the story look like the story is over so he isn't going anywhere on the injury new Javier Barnett has been spotted in a walking boot after suffering his uh, injury on the June 7th episode of Level Up um he's healing right now he's on he's in a walking boot and he's in crutches so we'll see what goes on with him it's been it's going to be a tough road to recovery but he'll he'll get there he'll be back an injured nxt superstar has recovered from uh as, as has been cleared for in ring activity and that would be one carmen petrick remember she hurt herself on the june 4th episode of nxc another leg injury there's been a lot of leg injuries going around recently but she is good to go we'll see what happens with her She's got a bright future in this business. Dax Harwell, he's sidelined with a back injury, and he's had this injury for a while. He actually hit it from Tony Khan, and it was just too much to uh, to keep doing, to keep wrestling. And he, listen, he apologized to Tony. He apologized to AEW. He apologized to the fans. And then you got a douchebag like uh, Disco Inferno saying, oh, what you said, what you did shows that AEW does not care. And he's like, Dax is like, what? And Dax absolutely ripped him a brand new ass Oh, and Dax says he was wrong. I know I. He's like I know I was wrong. But as soon as I told Tony, he was like, "You're done. You're on the shelf. Go get surgery. Whatever needs to be done." Zelina Vega has been clear for in-ring activity. Remember, she was supposed to be in the Queen of the Ring and had a pre-existing injury. But as you can see on Raw, she got involved with Liv Morgan, which means she has been cleared to go. And an AEW star will be undergoing a uh, procedure for his broken foot. That will be Matt Seidel. He broke his foot uh, recently, but his ACL and his PCL remain intact. So he can rest easy about that because we, we know how those go. And uh, we're waiting for an update on uh, Damian Priest. Uh, if you watched uh, Clash of the Castle, the top rope was just not Titan, something was going on. You can even see the ref tell AJ, and there were a lot of top rope moves that kind of failed and were botches because of the rope wasn't tight. And, and, and Damien Priest's foot got caught up in the ropes, and it was not good. It could have been a lot, lot worse. But that is the news, and we shall be right back. The week in review, we opened up with Monday Night Raw. This was the go-home show for Clash at the Castle. This was a okay show for a go-home show. Gets a fist. Drew comes out says, look, I'm home. I'm going to win. And Damian Priest is nothing more than a transitional champion. Priest is like, listen, dog, I'm going to beat you. Put you in your place. And he offers up uh, Finn to Drew later tonight and says, if, if Drew wins, the Judgment Day will be barred from ringside at the pay-per-view. Finn's like, what? Oh, but whatever. Uh, Liv Morgan keeps flirting with Dom, and she leaves him her hotel key. And she's like, you calling someone mommy don't work. You should be with a woman that would call you daddy. God. Mm, Dom. Lord. Um, EO defeated Lyra Valkyrie with a little bit of help from Damage Control. Katana, Chance, and Caden Carter make the save after the match as Damage Control kept the beating on Lyra. So this is not done between them. Let's get this going. Uh, Otis explain to Chad, explains to Sammy why he sticks with Chad Gable. It's because when he lost Peach and he lost Tucky, Gable was there to bring him up. And so Sammy's like, that's all well and good, but you're more than what he's treating you now. Um, he says that to Akiri, he tells that to Maxine. So we'll see what happens. Um, the hotel key went missing. After 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 Don shows and everybody, Carlito goes, Whoa, that's that's cool. The key goes missing. Finn took it. Uh Braun and the LWO defeated the Judgment Day and Carlito. Liv stopped Braun from attacking uh Dom. And then she also like uh, fell on top of him from the apron. And then Zelina attacked Liv. So there's Zelina's next challenger. Uh Chad Gable and Sammy talk about Gable's manipulation. Sammy ended up beating Otis in the match, and then Gable attacked Sammy after the match, who slapped Otis. Um, and Otis almost breaks, but ends up attacking Sammy. Our uh, truth tells them is that the defender attacked him titles later tonight against the APA after talking to a fortune teller, and it turns out 
the APA is the AOP, and the fortune teller is Scarlet. Lord. Shayna Baszler and Zoe start to make quick work of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. The champs were ringside. The tag team champs were ringside. Braun uh, Breaker, let's see, Braun Strowman defeated Ilya Dragunov in a fantastic match. And Ricochet made the save and then later on got absolutely murder, death, killed. As he got beat up in the parking line and power slammed through a car windshield. And that is how we write out ricochet uh talks are still ongoing i don't think ricochet is going to resign with the wwe austin awesome truth ends up retaining the tag team titles against aop with a little help from the new day and in the main event drew mcintyre defeated finn balor therefore the judgment they are banned at a clash of at the castle over on dynamite we are building towards the forbidden door this show gets a fist as well um swerve opens up the show and says listen one osprey ain't got that killer instinct he can't get the job done i'm called kill shot for a reason he says I do respect Osprey because he and I are fighting champions, but some people in the uh, EVP bracket haven't defended the title since winning them. And out come the EVPs and the elite. And Okada's like, whose house? It's my house, bitch. <laughs> and he's been saying bitch like every week. Uh, this was great. Um, the elite says they look, they like Swerve and they want him for the blood and guts because they need a fifth member for the match and swerves like nah and takes the shoes that they gave him throw them into the crowd and they're about to beat his ass and then a claim came out and made the save so i can only assume that the three of the five members will be swerved and the acclaimed for blood and guts jack perry defeated dustin rose to qualify for the tnt title ladder match mark briscoe hypes his new conglomeration of himself orange cassidy kyle o'reilly and willow nightingale Renee was cracking up. Colorado's face in the background was absolutely hilarious. Um, Orange Cassidy Villa says, listen, we're going to finish off Trent and um, Chris and Willow will be in the omen. Uh, Roosh won a squash mission to him and NGF just beat the holy hell of each other. Kept brawling in the ring, in the crowd, and in the back. Kyle Fletcher, Takeshita, and Roderick Strong defeated the conglomeration. Yeah, that same conglomeration. Um... The bad guys kept attacking after the match, and Willow tried to come out and make the save, but she ended up getting dragged out by Chris Statlander. So, I'm going to need this match between Chris and Willow, okay? the uh, uh, Christopher Daniels says the Elite will be in Eliminator matches coming up. Uh, Joe and Hook attacked the Premier Athletes who were making their entrance and ended up beating him in the match. Mercedes Monet defended the TBS Championship against Zeus's, who is... Uh, Stephanie Vaccaro's partner, Mercedes Monet, won the match. This was a really solid match. Uh, we got Amina Shirakawa hype package, and Tony and Mina will have a contract signing next week. We had TV time with Private Party, which ends in Private Party attacking the learning tree. Jericho was being his fun, condescending self as well, telling them that they were climbing the top rope wrong. So this is going to be this is going to be great. Expect the match between Private Party versus Big Bill and Brian Keith. Dan Garcia won a squash match in the main event. Will Ospreay defended the international champion against Ray Phoenix in a fantastic match and as Swerve got in the ring to confront his opponent for Forbidden Door Osprey took the world title and put it right next to his international title and that was a mistake and Swerve was like you lucky we friends because if anyone else would have done that did what you did I'd have put them in the ground whew whew ah Forbidden Door baby over on Impact, we had the Against All Odds Go Home Show. This show gets a fist. We had a lot of singles matches promoting tag matches. So Santana defeated Zachary Wentz. Steve Mecklen and Santana stood toe-to-toe after the match. We had a center interview with Ali. And uh, Heffern is like, you kind of cheated. And why are you ducking speedball? And Ali's like, I'm home and I'm not ducking speedball. I'm going to win. because But he's not facing speedball Sunday. He's facing his tag team partner. Uh, not Sunday, Friday. He's facing his tag team partner, Trent Seven. Marty Bell defeated Masha Slamovich. This was a precursor to the tag team title match at uh, against all uh, last Steph Delander tells Zaya uh, Brookside. I almost want to say Zaya Lee. Zaya Brookside that she doesn't have an answer for PCO. Top Dollar then takes her rose and she he is followed by PCO. And the top Dollar doesn't know he's being followed. Danny Luna defeated Tasha Steeles. Joe Hendry introduces, introduces Ace Still as his new manager. Ace challenges Cass to face Hendry at against all last. The system goes to the Hardy Campound and this was wild so i'm gonna break it down to what happened with each person brian myers will in, always inevitably always end up being edge's bitch um he actually got speared by an edge skeleton eddie edwards turned into a werewolf playing off his uh tag team as the wolves and then got put through a table 
by one of Matt Hardy's kids. Alicia Edwards is beheaded after dealing with Rebby Hardy. And Moose is thrown into the lake every year incarnation as Matt Hardy and comes out as his New England Patriots player. And Matt Hardy's like, I want you at your best, your best version. And then to get to Twisted Fate, and then just like that, they're back outside. It's weird, but it was fun. Ash Bilek defeat defeated Jada Stone. Jonathan Gretschmer says he will beat Sammy Callahan. Jordan Grace calls for an open challenge at the pay-per-view. And then Nemus defeated ABC as there's some miscommunication between them. So the struggles continue for ABC, but are against all odds results. Over on Countdown to Against All Odds, the pre-show, Sammy Callahan defeated Jonathan Gresham. But I don't think it's over between these two. Uh, Masha Slamovich and Alicia Edwards uh, retained the Knockouts Tag Team Championships after defeating the Hex, the team of Alice and K and Marty Bell. Santana and uh, Steve Macklin defeated the Rascals. PCO defeated Rich Swan. Steph Delander accepted PCO's love. The System retained the Tag Team Championships after defeating the Nemus. Uh, Frank Azari defeated Joe Hendry. Mustafa Ali defeated Trent Seven, retaining the X Division Championship. ABC beat the team of Eric Young and Josh Alexander. Jordan Grace. Open challenge was answered by none other than NXT superstar Tatum Paxley, and we kind of saw this coming. Uh, Moose retained the world championship against Matt Hardy, but Jeff Hardy made the save, and the show ended with Matt, Jeff, uh, Rebby, and the name of Standing. So over on SmackDown, we had our clash at the Castle Go Home show. This show gets a thumbs down. It was a little, it was a little weak. Um, these foreign shows, SmackDowns or Raws, are usually. I don't want to say bad, but they're not good. So Chelsea Green hyped up Piper, the hometown hero, and Chelsea loses to Naomi. Uh, Baron Corbin thanks Nick Aldis for the, a new opportunity. Uh, Legato down for Tasma. Chai's Gorbin and Santos will end up facing Apollo Crews later. Uh, Grayson Waller effect with DIY. The split for Waller and Theory continues. Waller pulled Theory in for to take a super kick for him. Yeah. So we're just definitely get breaking them up. We'll see how a face Austin Theory does. The Street Profits have KOs back. Uh, Blair Davenport wants to feel the glow, and the Piper and Chelsea attack Bailey and Naomi. Uh, Santos Escobar defeated Apollo Cruz. Baron Corbin tried his best to help, but ultimately the numbers game got to him. Uh, AJ Styles and Cody Rose talk the same talk, hype the match, the respect, the hate, whatever, all for each other. Um, the bloodline attacked the Street Profits, so now the Street Profits will not have KO's back later in the evening. Uh, Nia Jax defeated Meechin in about a minute. Whew. Uh, LA Knight was at Logan Paul's house, and he just flew to LA just to get told to leave, and then he left. There wasn't even enough a fight. Nobody got thrown into the pool. Like this should have been much more. The bloodline are barred from ringside. And Paul Heyman tells Solo, like, yo, if you lose, it's not going to be great for the bloodline. But Solo ended up beating KO. And then after the match, Randy Orton made the save. Over on Rampage, Tony Storm defeated Alex Windsor, who has a very, very bright future um, in this business. She got a lot of offense. And she actually attacked Tony Storm both during Tony Storm's entrance. Uh, Harley Cameron her hyped Soraya for the Owen Hart Cup. The Cage of Agony won a squash match. Shoto Umino defeated Rocky Romero with the Death Rider. If you guys don't know, Shoto Umino is um, John Moxley's protege. Satnam Singh won a squash and then Pac defeated Jay Lethal over in Collision. This was a better than normal episode. Get to this. This was the one year anniversary of Collision. So the BCC defeated Rocky Romero, Leo Rush, and TM. DK Christopher Daniels reversal of the acclaimed finds and then he feeds in the color who got get beat up in the ring by the acclaimed. Uh, Deanna Peraza emphatically defeated Thunder Rosa in a no DQ match. We've seen women's street fights and everything, so this had a high bar to live up to, and it didn't reach that bar, but it's okay. It's still a very good match. But Deanna won both matches against Thunder Rosa, so we'll see what's next. Um, Hachisero defeated Dalton Castle and two of the boys were the outrunners <laughs> the Gates of Agony then ended up beating Dalton Castle after the match until Daddy Magic and Daniel Garcia made the save Leo Rush tells Dante Bar that he's got his back Christian Cage is Father's Day special um, you know he's a great father um, Mama Wayne says he's a great father and then they give him a gift which is just a portrait of him and he's like this is um, this is great this is nice he Continues to berate Kill Switch, aka Luchasaurus. The fans are chanting Luchasaurus, and Christian's like, No, his name is Kill Switch. Um, but he says, I got a title for uh, a, a gift for you all, and we're going to come for the trio championships, and he's still going to come for the world championship. Um, 
We'll touch on that later. Don T. Martin ended up defeating Lee Murray to qualify for the TNT ladder match. I would have loved to have Leo Lee Martin already in that match. Uh, Shane Taylor Roche ended up beating up Dante Martin after the match to Leo Rush, Action Andretti, and Darius Martin came and made the save. Kyle O'Reilly won a squash match in the main event. The House of Black defeated the Bang Bang Gang, so they're probably going to title shot soon. Uh, we had a Buddy Matthews injury spot. I don't know if he was actually injured or if it was just a work but he sold it well so we'll get some information about that coming hopefully this week uh the patriarch ended up attacking buddy matthews in the back and then leaving him laying with the christian portrait on top of him so are we turning the house of black heel or making i mean faces are or are they going to be tweeners this is interesting but we're re-upping the fight for the trios championship our matches of the week from monday night raw Braun breaker defeated Ilya dragunov in a fantastic match from dynamite mercedes monet versus zeus's for the tbs championship also from dynamite will osprey versus ray phoenix for the international championship from impact the nemus versus a b c <coughs> From Against All Lots, Mustafa Lee versus Trent Seven for the X Division Championship. And from New Japan Pro Wrestling, so Shingo Takagi versus Hanari for the Never Open Weight Championship. Uh, Hanari won this match in our Star of the Week. Gotta go and give it to the Unholy Union team of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, who became the new WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. But that champions, but that is our show. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I'm coming up this week. We got two lists who should win the men's and who should win the women's Owens Cup. We got let's talk about it. How can TNA benefit from this partnership with the WWE? We got a flashback Friday. Uh, this next episode of the High Risk Wrestling Podcast will be Faction Warfare Part Six. We got another let's talk about it. And we'll figure out some more lists for the following week. And of course, we got Forbidden Door Preview coming. Uh, but that is our show check out the socials charismatic creations on facebook and youtube charismatic underscore creations 52 on instagram and the 215 on twitter peace